Hello and welcome to Roads 101 Traffic Lights. The first tutorial in how to build roads. First we'll start by exploring the road tool. We have our straight roads, our bended roads, which behave in this way. You make a point and at that point they they really how do you say turn? And you have the free form road which kind of remembers the angle in which it was set and there you see you have a nice smooth round road just about the basic road tools you can upgrade roads to two lane or even six lane roads and you could even upgrade them to highways if they were unlocked the purpose of this tutorial is to explore what happens when different road types cross. We'll first take the two lane roads and we'll see what happens when we make a crossing of two two lane roads. There you go, a crossing. And this is a very important feature of two lane roads. They do not create traffic lights and traffic lights my friends are the devil. You should avoid them as much as possible. Here you see the upgrade to four lane roads and four lane roads crossing two lane roads do create traffic lights. The same happens when you would upgrade the, uh, now make a four lane, four lane crossing and again we see traffic lights appear. With six lane and four lanes, also traffic lights. And if you would upgrade everything to six lane roads, you would still have your traffic lights. How to get two six lane roads cross without creating traffic lights? That's actually the main question of this tutorial. Okay, let's recap. Two lane roads do not create a traffic line when crossing. That's perfect. Because we would like to avoid all traffic lights as possible. Because traffic lights slow down your traffic. The slower the more your traffic gets slowed down, it will end up in congestion. Now, how do we get two six-lane roads to cross without creating a traffic light? There's a game tip at the beginning of the game. Build roundabouts to prevent congestion. But how, what kind of roundabouts are they talking to? We have this six-lane to two-lane roads roundabout, but that creates traffic lights. If we would upgrade the roundabout to four lanes or six lanes, it will still create traffic lights. Now there's one feature of the uh, one-way roads which we did not discuss yet, and that's that exiting one-way roads do not create a traffic light. So if we would take a part of road here, Nice six lane road, and we will use a um, one way, one direction road. The exiting road will not create a traffic light, as shown here. So when you exit like that two times, you will have a crossing of six lane roads, which did not create a traffic light. But when there's incoming traffic, it will create a traffic light, as you see here. So upgrading this roundabout to one way would seem to be working, but as soon as you go around, you have created at every intersection also a traffic light. Now this could be solved by making also the exiting parts one way. But still you have only one traffic light. It's coming close, but it's still not good enough. Again we go back to the problem, how to cross two six lane roads without creating traffic lights. The answer is of course a roundabout, but not a roundabout with dirt tracks. Now we use the dirt tracks to create a, how do you say, a, a figure in which will our roundabout will will be uh, built. 
These are the four arms of a uh, of equal length. And now we take the highway road. The highway road, when it crosses with one of the other roads, does not create a traffic light. Highway roads are only available from a certain level, not from the start of the game. But in the beginning of the game you do not need roundabouts because there's not enough traffic. Here you see two six lane roads crossing without traffic lights. But pedestrians cannot cross this either. So you'll have to, if you want, make sure that your pedestrians can get around this roundabout. You can even take them over of course and you send them in any which direction you'd like. If it's still the shortest, uh, shortest path for these pedestrians, they will take it. Roundabouts can be built in different sizes. We just built one which had uh, 10 units uh, or actually 20 diameter. Now we'll make one with a 10 unit diameter. And you'll see it's very much smaller, but Depending on the, the amount of traffic that it will need, if this is just an inner city roundabout, it's big enough. If you have a roundabout coming from a highway, you'd like to have the 20, 20 units diameter. The smallest size roundabout which is possible is uh, 6 units in diameter, 2 times 3. You always start with 1 and then you can add it to, if you make it, try to make it uh, 8, so it's uh, say 4, then it doesn't work. With this small size, you'll need to delete the or cancel the, the dirt tracks before you can really uh, put out all the roads. But here you say also a six lane crossing which has no traffic light. But such a small roundabout, I would not use it in an inner city large crossing. And of course the two lane roads can be crossed just normally without a roundabout. No traffic lights. There will be no stopping, no congestion, the traffic flows freely, they will make, they have to make a turn, so they'll slow down some, but this is actually the optimum you uh, can get. This brings us to the end of this uh, first tutorial, Roads 101. I hope you, uh, you uh, get something out of it, and uh, I hope to see you soon at one of the next tutorials.